today we're going to review the Zima Pro uh, robot cleaner for the pool. I got two weeks with it, so we're going to go over, we're going to test it, we're going to see how it works. Um, so first we're going to go over what's included with the Zima Pro. First of all, we got the floating battery right here, which you can start, click standby if you want to pause it. You can choose which mode, you have three modes, overall, floor only, wall only, and then the battery indicators are right here, and the Wi-Fi indicator, and the on and off, and the charger port. That's what we have on the floating battery. Regarding the robot, this is how the robot looks like. Very um, modern design. You have two filters on each side. Also, you have purification slots, purification pack slots right here, right at the bottom of, of the filter on the left. Push the filters back, we close it, put the other one, clean the filter every each use. Uh, that's recommended by the instructions. And now we're gonna take it and test it into the pool. This is my pool. It's got very unique edges. It's called Roman style. Um, that's where my previous robot used to always get stuck on those corners. Now, as you can see, the pool itself is uh, it's got a lot of debris inside the pool. And I'm gonna I'm going to throw in the robot and see if it's gonna clean all that. I've got high hopes. And I'm sure it's going to clean it. Yeah, those are the edges, as you can see, inside the water. Now, we're going to turn on Zima. So we're going to push the yellow button. The battery lights will turn on, and it will indicate how much battery you have in it. The mode will turn on as well, and you can choose which mode you want to click in it on the battery itself. You can, always, you can also use the app. The Wi-Fi indicator will turn on once the once Zima is connected to the Wi-Fi and you control it using the app. And then you can start and pause the cleaning cycle by clicking this button right here on the battery itself. We are going to use the app for our purposes. So I already set up my app and you can see the pull itself. It's the same shape can choose which shape you want it to be. So I chose my shape and you can see it here. And when you click start cleaning, you can choose the modes just like on the battery itself and then click start cleaning and it will do its magic. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put Zima in the pool and we're going to put the battery this and we're gonna wait till Zima will get to the bottom before we turn it on. So once it's synced all the way to the bottom, we're good to go with operating the robot either by clicking on the battery or the app. Because the battery is far away from me right now and I did it on purpose, we're gonna use the app. You're gonna click start cleaning. I'm choosing the overall one. It'll give you an indication how long it's gonna take to clean my pool and we're gonna cut and we're gonna click start cleaning now it will give you a completion percentage so once it gets to 100 percent zima will come to the edge of the pool so you can lift it up so i already clicked start so now right now it's cleaning my pool so if you look down into the pool you will see zima is just driving around and doing its thing Okay, now we're gonna control Zima using the manual feature. You click start cleaning, you have manual, start now. It will connect to the robot. You have to flip your phone and you're gonna have a, a remote control to control Zima. Now, I'm gonna tell Zima to come close to me 
And if you come closer, you will see that the robot is moving towards me slowly. Now, what I'm going to do once it's here, I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna go back and I will click lift. It will ask you if you're near it. Click lift. Now Zima will come up so you can yank it out and grab it and take all the water out of it. Time to see how Zima cleaned the pool. So, Zima Pro finished vacuuming the pool, and I showed you the, the debris that was inside, and you could clearly see how it captured everything, which is great. Now, a lot of people asked online if it will. Uh, filter fine debris and it actually does filter um, fine debris you can see how small of particles you are we have in there um, yeah let's open it up so you can see this is how how much fine debris this vacuum can capture and this filter can capture which is which is great for me granted I didn't have a lot of leaves and everything but I did have some of this uh, a black debris I think somebody uh, did a bonfire and some of it went through my pool but you can see a lot of it here and a lot of it here so it did a great job by one capturing very fine debris and also capturing other stuff um, with it so all in all great uh, they do recommend cleaning the filters right after it so it won't dry out on the on the mesh that it's on the filter itself um, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and put it back but I am super satisfied. This is uh, great. This is exactly what I was looking for. Um, it did not get stuck on my edges that I showed before. So those little um, tiny edges, it didn't, it didn't get flipped or anything like that. So now you can see the before and after the pool is completely clean. 